today is Monday, August 17th, and I'm going for my pre-testing this morning. <coughs> Ooh, um, I'm having surgery on Friday. I'm gonna go have a hysterectomy. Um, I know I've, if you go back and watch some of my videos, you will see some of the problems that I've been having. And um, so just to recap, um, so I had my tummy tuck back in May and the morning of my surgery, um, my hemoglobin was 8.8. .8. And um, so, you know, obviously that's really low. Um, but we went ahead and did the surgery. But um, that after I got back home, um, I started feeling like um, just really weak, um, just not good. In so one while, keep right to merge I ended up going to the doctor um, and having um, my blood drawn again, and um, it came back at 9.1 my hemoglobin, but also um, my. Um, can't remember all the levels but like there was a lot of things that were low which showed that I had been anemic for a very long time which uh, chronic anemia is what they called it and um, because um, you know my iron percentage had gotten so low it makes it hard for my body to recuperate or to um, remake um, to bring my hemoglobin up every month whenever Continue I have my cycle. So, because I have such heavy cycles, um, that's a lot of the reason. Um, they also wanted to do like a endoscopy and a colonoscopy um, because it was so low. Um, but I actually, use the right two lanes to keep I actually decided to, to just go ahead with a hysterectomy because I feel like that's where most of my problems are coming from. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, my, um, I am, the right two lanes to keep I've been right bleeding to for 11 days now. And um, I've been like the last probably three to four days just a pounding headache which I do have um, migraines but usually that's like the first um, the first uh, the day before my cycle starts and then like the first two to three days after um, is when I have my migraine it does feel better today though it still hurts but it's not pounding like it was like I could barely even open my eyes like it hurts so bad I don't know how I made it through, Use but I did. Right two lanes so. to keep right onto I-75 North toward Knoxville. Okay, I'm trying to listen to my map and talk too. I have to drive like 30 minutes out to this doctor, so. Um, so that's a really long clip, but um, yeah. I'm really nervous. I have so many different emotions um, about the whole hysterectomy. Keep um, right. And I guess I'll talk about that a little more later, but um, I just want to document um, today. So um, four miles. Continue I straight. will be uh, having the Corona test done um, and then um, oh, that's at my doctor. And then I also have to go to the hospital after I go to the doctor to have blood work done. So that'll be a long morning. And I'm already run late. <laughs> it shows I'm gonna be two minutes late for my appointment. Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay guys, it's been a few hours. It's now 1.30 and I'm on my way back home. It was a long wait at the hospital. Um, but I got through my doctor's appointment. Um, I had my COVID test done and I just have to say, it was the most painful thing, aside from childbirth, but I would rather go for, through childbirth before I did another COVID test. It hurt so bad. Um, and I didn't get one of the newer ones where they don't have to go all the way back. All the way back. Oh. Um, so she did one side and she pulled it out 
and I mean my eyes were just or just my right eye was watering so bad and um, then she was like okay I have to do the other side I was like why you have to do both sides so she did the other side and then of course both of my eyes are watering um, and so anyway that is done um, now um, let's see then we went in and um, she did my blood pressure it was like 123 over 127 I'm sure that was just from just having that COVID test done um, and then um, we just kind of talked about everything and how I was feeling and um, it was emotional um, and I'm still emotional about it <sighs> um, it's just it's making it official um, to not having any more kids is hard um, even though we're done you know it doesn't it doesn't make a difference that we are done it's just the part of like making it official and um, you know if we changed our minds it didn't matter so um, but anyway then I went to the hospital and I waited and waited and waited for about an hour and a half I guess maybe two hours um, and I got my blood work done um, we did do like a, a, a blood type screening and um, that way they can have blood there and ready um, for me if I have to have blood. Um, so I should find out my blood work tomorrow and hopefully uh, my hemoglobin is not too low. Um, but we'll see. Um, now I'm going home and um, I'm starving. So I'm gonna find something to eat, and um, that's pretty much it. That's my pre-testing day. Um, my surgery is Friday. I won't find out what time until Thursday. And um, so uh, Tim has taken time off work. Uh, he had to do FMLA, which is Family Medical Leave, and um, it will be with no pay. Um, so hopefully. He doesn't have to take a whole lot of time off. Um, he he did put in for six weeks of leave, but um, that was just in case there were any complications or if for some reason he needed to be off for longer, um, he's already approved for it. But uh, we're hoping that he only has to take at the most two weeks off. So, um, and then he would have the rest of that time in case he needs to take off to take me to the doctor or whatever the case may be. So, um, okay, today is um, August 21st, it is 5.03 a.m., and we are headed to the hospital. So today's the day, um, it's surgery day. Are you nervous? You ain't having it done, so you're not nervous. I'm very nervous. Once I get there, I'm not sure. Um, so I will 
try to keep you updated and if I don't, then Tim will be updating. So, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. We're here, we're checked in. Just got changed into my gown. Somebody was gonna come in. Tim's over there. I almost got a sneeze. Um, just gonna sit here and wait. What? I don't know how to clean them. Look it up and see how to clean them. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna sit here and wait. Okay, we just got, let me take that down. Um, they just did my IVs. I got two. Got two IVs. And um, now we're just, can you see me? Yeah. I feel like you can't see me. Um, we're just waiting on the doctor to come in. Anesthesia's already been in. And um, that's about it. We're just waiting now. Hard part, kind of the hard part's over. And it was only one stick in each hand. So we're doing good. Okay, it is now 7.02, so we have probably about 10-ish mm, minutes until surgery time, so um, I'm gonna, oh gosh, my eyes hurt. I'm gonna be leaving this with Timothy, and he's gonna be responsible. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see y'all after surgery's over. So they took her back about... What time it is? 7.15. They told me they would call me in 30 minutes. Let me know if things okay. But it's now 9.06. The doctor just came out said everything went well. He got a few pictures of her uterus. That she'll post on here probably. She has to wait back there about 45 minutes and then I'll get to see her. I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so we are headed home from the hospital. It's 11.20, so everything went good. I don't know what all he updated on, but um, I was able to keep my ovaries, um, but he got my um, uterus and my fallopian tubes. really tired and um, in a fair amount of pain I didn't really know what to expect but um, definitely cramping really 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 bad it's kind of a mixture of cramping and hurting I would come on here it's um, day five I haven't updated 
I don't even know when the last time I updated. Um, but it has been um, a lot different than I expected it was going to be. And so, um, yesterday was a little bit better, but today I've been up moving around a lot more. Um, so, I just wanted to come on here and update um, that, um, that it's just been a lot harder than I expected. Um, and so I'm still bruised, um, and sore and crampy, um, and, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I feel. <laughs> um, but I do feel like I'm healing, so that's good. Um, let me show you guys. You just ignore everything around me because it's a mess in here. But here's, let me show you what I'm doing here. Ow! So, here it is. I'm very swollen and bruised. So, okay, you can see better now. It's, hopefully the swelling will start going down pretty soon. Ugh. Um, but that's pretty much it for my update. Um, I've just been, I actually did get out and go to, um, Costco today. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that, but I needed to get out of the house. I don't think I'm supposed to be riding in a car, but not 100% sure about that. I know he told me I couldn't drive, um, for two weeks, but, um, anyway, um, I did go to Costco today and that was a little rough. Um, I don't have a whole lot of an appetite, so I'm not eating a lot. And so, um, I'm still weak and, um, I started kind of feeling a little faintish while we were in there. So we um, did what we needed to and got out. We didn't stay very long. Um, um, still a little bittersweet that we'll never get to experience the whole childbirth thing again. But um, we're gonna move on to the next phase of life and we have a lot of fun things coming up. We're looking for a house still. Um, we thought we found one, but don't look like we're going to be able to get that one. Um, we've been outbid twice. Uh, we've put an offer in on two houses and we've been outbid twice. And um, so it's a pretty big bummer for that to keep happening. But I think that the um, real estate market is just really booming right now. And um, so I don't know. I don't know how we're ever going to get a house if we keep getting outbid. Um, so that's pretty much it for now, you guys, and I will update another time. Bye.